Yes, good afternoon everyone. It's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's day is Sunday, the 14th of May 2023, the year of BSV. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. Right, so just a nice little short one today. Uh, just going to be going over a little bit of price action because it's quite exciting. But we'll start off with this little nugget here from Gary Gensler. As a reminder, he has already said, and I quote, all crypto tokens except for Bitcoin are securities. Securities are certified secured entitlement granted by a higher authority, meaning they have no economic value other than the asset that they represent. And if they do not represent an asset, it is securities fraud, which means a medium of exchange, if it's going to be an electronic cash system, needs to be a commodity. And as he said here, all crypto tokens except for Bitcoin are securities. Bitcoin is a commodity, but Bitcoin is BSV. And I'll tell you why I'm uh, why I'm mentioning that in just a second. But let's get into some interesting figures. Just going to make this a quick one today. So I whiz through it. Let's start off with this. Check it out. The uh, transactions last 24 hours. So we've got XRP with 974,000. And again, centralized system can't work, can't scale. Uh, Ethereum, a similar number of transactions, 966,000. Uh, Litecoin, I mean, what an absolute joke that is. Well, 444,000. Dogecoin, honestly, uh, 635. Core coin, 604,000. But look, the genuine Bitcoin is still in the lead. It is the number one on the shitcoin market. Not that it belongs on the shitcoin market at all, but it's smashing all these other shit coins with 1,162,731 transactions over the last 24 hour period. And this is literally just the tip of the iceberg. The other networks can't scale, whereas Bitcoin is going to go through the roof, which is why we will keep an eye on it for many reasons, not just the utility value coming on chain, but also you know, there are some very powerful forces behind this, uh, which we will go into in just a second. When we look at the price movement, lots of fun speculating on that right now. But before we get to that, let's just have a quick look at Tether. Oh, what's that? God, it's gone right down to the dollar again. Uh, but what's interesting about Tether really is the, uh, the market cap. So nothing going on in the last 24 hours, but look at that. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, 82.1 billion to 82.8. Uh, so that's uh, what? 700 million dollars. 700 million. Uh, only 100 million dollars a day <laughs> going in to Tether trying to keep BTC alive. Honestly, it's absolutely hilarious. And let's have a look at BTC quickly. Look at this. Somebody trying to defend the price. Literally, the market just goes, holy crap, this is an absolute bag of shite. Yes, it is. And then uh, Tether comes in and goes, oh, hold on a minute. Don't be saying that. Don't be saying that. Got to keep people's spirits alive. Got to keep this scam going. Uh, that's literally all we're looking at here. It's a, it's an absolute joke. Um, but now the interesting bit, let's have a look at the genuine Bitcoin. So uh, not so um, uh, sort of noticeable here, but it's this little peak that we're going to have a quick chat about because I saw it and got quite excited. You can see it here on, on CoinGecko. Look at this. In fact, how are we feeling about it today? Feeling good. 71%. That's more like it. Look at that. Look at that weekly trend. That's looking very strong indeed. Very strong indeed. Oh, it's 24 hours actually. But anyway, seven days. Look, there, there's, there's today's peak. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's have a look at this on Coindesk. Look at that. Look at that. So this, and again, I am, I'm just purely speculating here. This looks to me like price manipulation. So price has gone down and then the price shot up again. Now we know the entire, in fact, we know the entire stock market is rigged 
by those who can inflate the currency supply. So tell you what we'll do, actually. We'll have a... Just to remind people of just this utter shit show that we're in. Um, I'll see if... M1 money stock. There we go. Look at this. This is absolutely disgusting. Look at that. So this is the M1 money stock. So this is US dollar in circulation since 1960. Look at this. This is like the Afghan war. Um, well, actually, this is the Afghan war. So what, 2000 and 2001 war on terror. There we go. It goes up and up and up. And then just a few months, boom. There is literally no justification for this level of money print or currency printing ever, period. This is all the uh, M1 money stock in the world, which devalues all the currencies, which use it as a reserve. With this is absolute, this is economic terrorism, literally on a scale that is unprecedented in modern financial history. It has never been seen before. It is outrageous, and this gives you an indication of the, literally the entire fo global financial system as we know it is utterly manipulated. So, seeing Bitcoin manipulated is no surprise whatsoever. But let's talk about what is going on. So, we know those who are watching the show that Bitcoin. The genuine Bitcoin with those five elements that make it a digital commodity, which means it has to be economically competitive and there has to be common accountability so that people, the users of the network, are accountable to one another and not a central authority. And that is done by the chain of digital signatures. And we now, or well, we know, that the chain of digital signatures was segregated on the 24th of August 2017 on BTC, making it economically worthless because common accountability was removed. Now, who was it that made those chain of signatures? Well, it was Satoshi Nakamoto who made the chain of signatures because he knew that common accountability had to be within the system in order for it to be classified as a commodity. So if somebody has changed his design, obviously changing the design mean it, meaning it becomes an economically worthless security and nobody really wants to be known for, <laughs> for inventing something that was a load of shit. Oh, congratulations, you created something that didn't work. Like, what is, honestly, what is the point? It says clear as day in the Bitcoin white paper, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Cash being the most liquid form of money and money being a commodity. So we know that Satoshi is the largest bag holder of Bitcoin and that's all the chains. Um, you know, and he had, there's the Tulip Trust as well and everything. Now, we know that notices were put out in 2021 by the creator, uh, who is obviously, you know, holding a substantial uh, amount of, uh, of Bitcoin that was going to move it into BSV. But if you make a large movement and one person alone flips the market on their actions or whatever they do or whatever they say, the entire market turns into a laughing stock. So what you would do is just bring your value across slowly. Now, we know that the price of uh, BSV is being artificially suppressed through the BSV that the powers that be stole from the exchanges, stole from the exchange customers during the D-list BSV campaign in 2019. They stole the BSV from uh, Coinbase, from Kraken and from Binance. Now, that was 2019. And I suspect they probably thought that BSV wouldn't be around by now, which which means they are running out and getting desperate. Hence, they had to run a D-list BSV campaign on Bitfinex to steal the BSV that either their customers didn't withdraw or dump at the time. And then there was another one, uh, I think Bittrex delisted it as well. So they're getting their supplies from somewhere, but the supplies are so small, they are literally running out. So if you ask me, I, just speculating here, I think someone like Satoshi is just literally having a bit of fun with them and going, oh, boy, you know what we'll do? We'll just put the price up a little bit and then you boys are going to have to sell your reserves, which are fixed in supply, which means you can't get any more. Not unless you mine it and they've all been squeezed off the chain. Yeah, your, your reserves are going to be depleted even further. They are going to have trouble suppressing the price. So I actually would anticipate seeing lots of like movements like this occasionally from now on, which is why it's going to be very interesting to keep an eye on it. So what this was the first like significant one. So I would say this is this is uh, in, again just a feeling. I think this is what is going to. This was the start of um, 
uh, depleting the reserves of those who are artificially suppressing the price. And look, even on the uh, even on the week, it's it's looking strong. Look, boom, straight up. I mean, look at the amount of BSV they would have had to sell in order to uh, suppress the price. And then boom, oh, here we go again. Oh, no, we've got to sell some more. Got to sell some more. Right, you know, let, let's try and get it down as quickly as possible. Reduce the mining profitability. Let's hope that you know, uh, nobody buys it. But oh, price just carries on, just carries on. And then oh, oh, down, down. And then boom, straight up again. Look at that. And that is looking positive over the week. So I would actually say the price action is going to be very interesting from now on because, I mean, let, I mean let's just have a look at the market cap on... Um, uh, live coin watch. There we go. So when we consider this, uh, cool coin, shit coin, Segwit protocol, whatever you want to call it. Look at this market cap, 526 billion. So, I mean, 526 billion, that's outrageous. And if Satoshi has the, um, the amount of Bitcoin that we, that we think he's got, you know, some would suggest he's probably holding maybe like a hundred billion dollars worth of it himself. But then he'll know all the other early miners as well. Uh, you know, prob well, I mean, they, they will know what's going on anyway. So we've got 526 billion effectively, which is a which is all going to remember the entire. In fact, the entire market. Look, it's like one point one trillion dollars uh, of utter shit just to distract people away from Bitcoin. And the genuine Bitcoin has got a market. I think it's under a billion. I think it's like 700 million. Uh, yeah, oh, 699 million. Look at that. And you, you, co you couldn't make it up. You couldn't make it up. So we've got a trillion dollars worth of market cap that's eventually going to flood in to Bitcoin, which is currently just 700 million. So you know, I, I, what I would do is exactly this. I would just simply wear them out. Just boom, yeah, you put the price up. Yeah, they have to sell and sell and sell and sell and sell, you know, and um, just just keep doing it that way. So, and again, we know that, you know, a certain someone likes to just sort of play the long game and wear them down, grind them down. So that's what I think we're looking at here, which is going to be great fun to just keep an eye on um, over the, well, over the next, uh, right up to the run up to the end of the year. But then we've got all these transactions anticipated to uh, come onto the network. And then, of course, we've got the uh, block halving around uh, mid-April 2024, where literally all the other shit coins, well, certainly, well, I mean, proof of stake and pre-mined federal securities, they're not economically competitive. So, you know, but they're centrally controlled, whereas uh, the likes of BTC and BCH and uh, eCash and Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Platinum, Bitcoin Diamond, Bitcoin Private, Bitcoin Yellow, Red, Green, Blue, all that shit, they're just simply not going to be able to survive um, at all. So, uh, and again, with utility, you cannot deny utility. Imagine if there is a million transactions per second consistently on the network. There is nothing that, that anybody can do to artificially manipulate that. The market will see it. And so it looks like this is actually sort of like maybe a, a two-pronged attack. You've got utility value coming on the market. And it looks like you've got somebody shaking out the shit coiners. Like literally, you know, relieving them of their BSV as they sell it on the market, trying to artificially suppress the price. So this is going to be very interesting indeed. I'm loving what I'm seeing here. So uh, we'll just, uh, in fact, I'll get, a, I'll get a, on my next show, I'll get some quotes from back in the day with like about your know, rolling iceberg orders and stuff like that. Uh, very interesting and maybe touch on the Tulip Trust and all that. But we will leave it there today with just with this little quote from Gary Gensler, just for all those shit corners and those BTCers. Um, you know, what we really need from uh, uh, Gary Gensler is clarity on what ticker symbol represents Bitcoin. That will really get him quaking in his boots. Anyway, that's a 40-minute show. We'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware. Take care. Stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next one.